Welcome to the Philips Virtual Hymns Learning Zone. I'm Dr. C.K. Andrade, Senior Director of Product Management and Marketing in the Chief Architect's Office at Philips, where I drive the product and business aspects of Philips digital platform strategy to enable a connected healthcare ecosystem. I'm joined by Louis Coulot. Louis is our General Manager of Oncology Informatics business at Philips, where his team is leading initiatives to use informatics to better localize, characterize, and guide treatment decisions in cancer. And this is in support of Philips' mission to improve the lives of 3 billion people by 2025. And also here with us is Carol Tremonti. At Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, Mass., Carol Tremonti is the Senior Director of Dana-Farber Pathways Operations. In her role, she's responsible for the strategy, oversight, development, and management of Dana-Farber's Clinical Pathways Program. I'm delighted to introduce Disrupting Cancer Care at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute using Philips Oncology Pathways powered by Dana-Farber and Philips HealthSuite System of Engagement. We're going to learn how Dana-Farber brings world-class cancer care to the community. This session will highlight how they use Philips Oncology Informatics to save lives and enhance clinical decision-making by ingesting and analyzing disparate data and matching it to cutting edge clinical pathways. Over to you, Lewis. Thank you very much, CK, and thank you for joining us today. Um, and I'm delighted that Carol's been able to uh, join us for this conversation around what we're doing in oncology pathways together. And I'm just gonna start by asking Carol the question of, you know, thinking about pathways from Dana-Farber's perspective, why they embarked on this initiative and how it ties into Dana-Farber's bigger mission in cancer care. Yeah, thank you, Lewis. I have to say that it all started with the discovery of PDL1, which really revolutionized the way that we identify and treat cancer. At that time, we recognized that precision in diagnosis and treatment was the future of cancer care, and ensuring that patients receive the right treatment the first time they're treated was critical to their long term survival. The entry of PDL1 also is the point at which we started to encounter treatment options for cancer care rapidly growing. For example, in the last year alone, there have been close to 70 new FDA approved agents to treat cancer diagnoses. And given that rapidly evolving cancer space, we really sought to support our provider workflow and thought processes. We were worried that there would be too much information for them to digest. At Dana-Farber, our mission overall is to get precision cancer care to wherever the patient is geographically being treated. And by doing so, we ensure we've got the right cancer provided to the right patient in, in any setting. If you think about this in terms of what this looks to manage, we're sharing with you some of the graphs that show how do we understand our populations and how the information within our pathways tool helps us, helps us to define our patient populations and identify what's the best treatment for them. In doing this, our pathways program had three goals. So first, it's to define and standardize treatment recommendations, subsequently identifying a, sig a signal from the noise of too many treatment options. Secondly, we wanted to better understand and identify and define cancer populations, also to measure and learn from provider decision making, not only when they follow our recommendations, but more importantly, when they diverge from the recommendation. This is very rich and critical data as it further informs our treatment recommendations as well as cancer populations. Our third goal, and this was critically important to us, is that we wanted to support provider workflow and thought process. And in doing so, we needed to build a system they wanted to use. In the space of physician burnout, IT systems are often something that clinicians shy away from. We wanted to be sure we built something that they would move towards. And within that required some sophisticated interoperability, which is a big reason why we partnered with Philips. We wanted to build a program that was electronic medical record agnostic so that it didn't matter what type of EMR an organization would use, that we could connect to multiple systems because our data is contained in multiple different places. Important was to go not just from the way we operate today, but looking forward into the future and be sure that we could have automatic data consumption 
And also to get to the point of how do you manage a field that is rapidly evolving, we needed to be able to nimbly manage our content and be sure that the way the platform was designed and the way the content was designed is could be flexible. So if a new agent came on the market or there was a new treatment indication for a given cancer, we could adapt our treatment recommendations but continue to learn from it along the way. Great. Well, well, thank you so much uh, for sharing that, and um, really appreciated also the the point that this really underpins Dana Farber's mission, as you said, to to get the right uh, best cancer care to wherever the patient happens to live. Um, I'll say, you know, thinking about this from a fellows perspective, when we come back to you know our mission as as a health tech company in improving the lives of three billion people by 2025, a mission we take very very seriously. Uh, we do think about it across these four different pillars that we refer to as the quadruple aim in healthcare. So first is, you know, can these uh, uh, approaches lead to better outcomes? In other words, can we actually get, you know, whether it's survival or lower toxicity or better quality of life, what do outcomes look like? Uh, can we do it in a way that improves the patient experience? I mean, one thing that we've observed in cancer care is that, you know, patients are scared. They They often go from place to place looking for second and third opinions because they want to make sure, given the complexity of the disease, that they're getting the, the, the right best recommendations wherever they happen to be. And then can we do it in a way, and I think you touched on this around interoperability because, you know, clinicians um, uh, do spend a lot of time with IT systems and, and we want to be able to provide this in a way that makes it as painless and easy for them as possible and potentially even improving the experience. So can we give them something back uh, in exchange for the, the minute or something that it takes to use a system like this. And can all these things be put together in a way that lowers or optimizes costs? We use the example of 70 new um, uh, drugs being approved uh, for cancer care this year. And certainly any time a therapy is being used in t with a patient population that won't be responded to, it's just wasted costs. Or if there's you know better optimal therapies with similar uh, uh, efficacy and side effect profiles, but at lower costs, you know, how can we help uh, uh, clinicians kind of drive through that? And I'll say at Phillips, you know, we, we're not a, um, uh, certainly not, not a group of clinicians. We're really a health tech company. We provide technology uh, and, and we provide um, solutions for, for this space. So we think about it from an oncology informatics perspective across a few different uh, key areas where we think we can make a difference in precision, precision medicine and in cancer care. Uh, the first being bringing together information for better localization of disease. So can we do a better job helping the docs understand where the uh, lesions are? Can we do a better job characterizing the disease? Can we pull together information to maybe tie together radiology and pathology and genomic features to do a better job uh, understanding the character of the disease? And then can we do a better job in helping them treat it? And that's where as Phillips, you know, we need partnership because we're not, again, we're not a treatment uh, organization. We're not clinicians. And that's where we um, really uh, appreciate the teaming up we did with Dana Farber. And as we think about this journey from early detection into diagnosis and into treatment, you know, the treatment um, axis here is by far the most complicated. And this is where we are very dependent on an institution like Dana Farber to help power our platform to provide these best practices that we can then uh, articulate out to anybody in the world who has access to, to these types of systems, and then can we measure uh, and provide follow-up care. So that's, I think, how the, the, the missions of, the, of the, these two institutions uh, tie together, and we're really, uh, so far, been very thrilled with the partnership and uh, looking forward to what's next. Uh, with that, I'll turn it back over to CK to tell us a little bit more about the health system of engagement that is the foundational platform that underpins all of this. Thanks so much, Lewis. So let's take a look at what's happening under the hood of Phillips Oncology Pathways. So in healthcare, there are many systems of record shown here in gray that hold personal, clinical, and operational data, like the EMRs and the laboratory information system. And at the same time, there are many patients and clinicians who are using applications represented here in the green along the care pathways that are struggling with being able to access and use the data that come from a very fragmented IT infrastructure. The health suite system of engagement sits between the two. 
and it provides the technical tools that unlock and integrate the data in the system of records. These we call our foundation services. And then it provides engagement capabilities that can be used to build solutions that allow clinicians and patients to be able to interact more seamlessly with their data and gain actionable insights. So if we look more closely at Onco Pathways, you can see how HealthSuite's system of engagement is used to decrease the heavy lifting of the data integration and data sharing in a way that really addresses privacy, security, and regulatory concerns. Here you can see how the health suite uh, services are used to integrate the data that come from the hospital systems of record, in this case, the EMRs and the order systems, and then to be able to allow for sharing of those data into uh, pathways so that the clinicians who are using the application are able to have a much easier access. So what we've seen with the conversation with Lewis and Carol in some of these nuts and bolts is how Philips helps Dana-Farber define and treat cancer patients. Being able to provide them with the most advanced cancer treatment recommendations using Philips Oncology Pathways powered by Dana-Farber and the Philips Health Suite system of engagement. We hope that you found this helpful. Thank you.